hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going on a lunchtime stroll. We are doing three miles. And then we're going to do some ab workout and some glutes. We're going to work some glutes today. All right. Building so many new houses. This used to be all trees and nothing. And now there's one there, one's coming up there. They're just building all over. Oh well. There goes my country life. This is why I love living out in the bushes because you see nature. This is a turtle and he's going in because he thinks I'm going to harm him but he doesn't realize that I'm more scared of him than he is of me. But he is, isn't he? Look at him. He's making a funny sound. I'm not going to get any closer. But love nature. All right, Mr. Turtle, I'm going to finish my walk. Guys, it's so beautiful out, I swear. I think... We're in well, almost January, and as you can see, the sun is beaming in sunny Florida. It's beautiful. It's probably about, I'm gonna say probably about 75 degrees, and but there's a nice wind. Now at night, the temperature, at night, the temperature drops. But it's still beautiful i mean it does get cold because one night we went down all the way down to 28 degrees and that was cold but i didn't mind because i was in my warm house but yeah it's a lot of perks in living in florida i love it i i've lived several different places but i'm telling you by far florida is my number one choice by far and then i live in the woods it's kind of country you have more land space you have more, more my son's friend we have more land space so um i like it and then we're not too far from the town driving distance 20 minutes and then the bigger city is about an hour so it's not bad i just love this it's so beautiful the breeze the friendly neighbors well some of them are friendly some of them you know, you know how that is they don't like us folks but that's all right because i wave at everybody life is too short and beautiful if you don't like me it's okay if you don't like my kind it's okay you can't like everybody anyway it does swell up that's a part of yeah when you walk my, like you feel it get tight mine does it all the time water retention too so we are on the way back almost finished three miles I think it's actually I think we did a little bit over three miles today but it feels so beautiful out here I'm telling you Ooh, the breeze, the sun, feels so good on your face. I'm telling you folks, the vitamin D is good. Helps with coronavirus, any kind of virus. So get you some sun if you can. If you can't get the sun, take your vitamins. Multivitamins, right, so do some supplements. Because you're not getting everything from the foods you eat. Because number one, we don't always eat the right things. So supplement with some vitamins. Keep you nice, strong, and healthy corona free wash your hands wear your mask social distancing distance yourself from others and don't attend social gatherings and you will be a-okay hopefully so i am back at my in my office and boy, i'm tired we did exactly three miles i thought it was a little bit more but it was three miles, so back to work. I got my, oops, sorry, got my breakfast. 
These folks, you have to buy this kind, the oats, online at Amazon. They don't have it in the stores. But when I tell you, this is amazing, amazing, amazing. It's expensive, but amazing. But if you look at it like it's $2 a meal, it feels a little bit better. Rather than, I think I paid $23 for... Them. I can't remember I got it from Amazon but this is awesome 20 grams of protein 7 grams of fiber and 1 gram of sugar good re meal replacement you get all your proteins and not all your proteins but a good amount of proteins okay well gotta get back to work okay so tonight I'm cooking some some ground beef. This is actually grass fed ground beef. With some, I'm going to put some green bell peppers in here, some onions, some garlic. But right now I'm just browning the meat. Let's turn this up a little bit. Okay. Cook a little bit and then, but you know, folks, you gotta chop this up as you go. And folks, do not wash ground beef. You cannot wash ground beef. If you can, um, just let me know because I don't think you can. But I actually saw somebody trying it, and I don't know if it was a joke or not, but they literally was trying to wash the ground beef. So, okay, I'm going to show you in a few what kind of ground beef I bought. It's a little bit, it's healthier, a little bit healthier, but as we know, beef is not really the healthiest thing to eat. But that's what we're having for dinner tonight. That was on the request, the menu request. So that is what we're having for dinner. And we're having yellow rice with that, which is in here cooking. I have to add some butter to that and some more water. And I don't measure, here's my onions. And that's gonna be my red onion. And I think that's good enough for the bell peppers. I might put a little bit more bell pepper in there. And I seasoned it with, we have some cayenne. My, this is my favorite seasoning, adobo. And I also added some of this in it. I'm gonna put some black pepper in it. And I'm gonna, some minced garlic is gonna go in here. Um, and whatever else I feel like putting in there. I don't know what else I'm putting in here yet. I might put a little sauce in there. I'm making a little sauce to go with the rice. And I'm going to make, I think, black beans. So I might not put the sauce. This might just be, you know, just like this. Right? Ooh, look at my hair. I'm messy. But I'm cooking. I wasn't planning on doing a video. But I figured, why not? I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So... Why not chit chat while I'm cooking? So let me show you. So I added my butter to my rice. And it's doing her thing. And this is just a regular yellow rice that comes in the box. In the um, plastic container, I'll show you. Okay, this is it. Let me get into the light. It's dark in my kitchen. This is it. I got it from Walmart. Wasn't really that expensive, but it already comes pre-seasoned, if you didn't know. It has all the seasoning in there. So, and as I stated, this is the ground beef that I'm using. I get this from Publix, our grocery store, or Winn-Dixie. I'm not sure if they have this in Walmart. My husband likes this, so he buys this a lot. So let's I just add the garlic. I'm about to add the onions and the peppers. So I'm using some red onions, some regular onions, and the bell pepper. No reason why I'm using the, I'm doing this with one hand, people. Let's see how good I am. Eh, almost. But no reason why I'm using the two different onions other than I ran out of the regular onions. So I have red onions, so that's what it is. Okay. So, I'm going to try and do this with my left hand. 
Lord knows I can't use my left hand. I need to cut a little bit because I'm trying to rush to get this thing going. Um, so let me mix it up and get back and you guys will see what it looks like. Okay, honey, so I added some parsley, some black pepper, um, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit more cayenne, some parsley or oregano. Did I say that already? And some steak seasoning. So, you're gonna stir that, give that a stir. And in the meantime, you're still breaking. This is a simple meal, nothing, nothing fancy. Something I just felt like going together. As well, my daughter wanted, she put in her request for this. So I said, yeah, why not? It's quick, works all day, didn't really feel like cooking. And I have to cook two separate meat or meat kind like this in Jamaica because my one daughter, she is um, vegan or vegan or vegetable? Vegan, yeah. She eats the seafood, but she does not eat meat, chicken, and all that. So yeah, she is vegan. Um, so I have to, I'm gonna cook some shrimp for her. So the one home from college, the other one moved back. Do the corona, save some money. So this is what it is. And actually you could eat this just like this, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of maybe some picadilla. Picadilla, yeah, whatever you call it. Or pante. I don't think I have picadilla. I'm gonna add some of that and maybe some ketchup to this. Just a little bit. Hey guys, wasn't planning on doing all of that, but my son requested me some green beans. So this is frozen. Hang on. Uh, okay, so all that's in here is some butter and a little bit of adobo. And I'm gonna cover that and let it, let's put it on the back. Burn it here on low. So we're gonna put it over there and cover it. And then I'll go and do the shrimp. Okay guys, so I have a few shrimp here, not a lot. She can have about two or three meals out of that. And I have, don't mind my pot, this is one of my favorite pots and it's old as dirt. I have some butter and some garlic and I have to make sure I don't cross contaminate because my other daughter is allergic to seafood. So I probably shouldn't have the green beans over here but it's covered. The green can is covered. But I probably shouldn't. Now, I wash the shrimp and switch hands here. And right now, it's just garlic and butter that's in here. Now, people, listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna put the shrimp in here. Do not, I didn't even season them yet. I usually just throw them in the pot because Shrimp, so easy to cook, cooks fast. And actually, I think these are pre-cooked already. You can tell they're pre-cooked or boiled, whatever they do to it in the store, in the, the factory, because they are pink, okay? Usually shrimp is what, like a gray color? And then once you start cooking it, it turns to this lovely pink. So really, we, we're not gonna cook it. You don't wanna cook it too long because then it's gonna get hard. So right now, I'm going to add some cayenne. She loves pepper. So, we don't. She likes extra pepper. And I'm going to put a little bit of this Cajun seasoning. Um, we're going to put some onion powder. And let me move this other pot out the way for the ground beef. Because it's too close to the shrimp. And we're going to just let it cook for like minute or so on each side. I'm going to add some black pepper and I'm going to add some little more seasoning. And then I'm um, actually guys, I'm doing this with one hand. I wasn't planning on filming, but I just got into the mode once I got downstairs and my tripod is upstairs and I do not feel like walking upstairs. So I'm going to clip this video together and this way you see how I spend my day after working a full day's work, walking with the kids, cooking, didn't do any cleaning because I got off work and I laid down for about 30 minutes. 
and it was time to make dinner. Right now it's about seven and I'm still trying to cook. No, I think it's about 6.30. Okay, so added some parsley, some with the red onions, and I added some uh, paprika. You can see this pot is spinning all over the place. Some paprika, that's why I don't use this pot often because it's one of those that likes to spin. And this is hard to try to do it with my one hand, but we're getting it done. There we go. And folks, this is actually ready. I don't really need any more seasoning. I probably could do a little bit more pepper. She loves peppers and spicy pepper and garlic. So I put a bunch of garlic in there. So I'll add just a little bit more pepper. And we're gonna see what that's doing. That's not doing anything back there. Probably need to turn it up. But yeah, this is actually good. And you know what I'm gonna add in there? I'm gonna add some of this Cajun injectable butter and jalapeno. I bought that for Thanksgiving. And I like the flavor, so I'm just gonna add a little bit in there. Just add it a little bit. And I'm just gonna let it simmer for about another 30 seconds. And honestly, this is, oh, this is not a good pot when you have one hand. So I'm just kind of mixing it up in there. And actually, I can literally just, I'm gonna turn this off and just let it sit. And the heat is just gonna cook it the last 30 minutes that it really needs. Thank you folks, shrimp does not take a long time to cook. Fish does not take a long time to cook. You overcook shrimp and it's hard. And uh, yeah, so don't overcook your shrimp. Right? Rice is almost ready. Let's mix this up a little bit. Get a little fogged up. It's actually cooked, it just needs to a little bit more so I like my rice kind of flaky I don't like sticky rice so we're gonna let that cook a little okay folks no reason why I'm only working on two burners but I'm doing the, the black beans now we have Goya black beans I'm gonna add that my daughters love it my son hates my son and husband hates beans I don't know why my husband said he had it too much run up as a child but my son just doesn't eat it so let me season this up and I'll show you what I have. If you didn't know, I have some onions and some garlic in here. If you haven't noticed my mouth, I love seasoning. I season everything, everything. I don't like to cook bland, don't judge me. And here's a little bit of adobo, not a lot, just a little bit. I don't use salt, I use adobo. Time to cut that out because it's doing something back there. Let's get a different spoon. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let it spill in the The butter's not even melting yet. Hang on, I need both hands. All right, time it goes hard when you cooking so many different pots. This is quick meals though. This, literally this entire meal is like under 20 minutes. And I cooked two separate dishes. You know what I mean? It's two separate, not separate dishes, but two separate meat kind. Or meat, as they say in America. Meat kind, as they say it in Jamaica. But you get the gist of what I'm saying. So we're just going to let the beans soak up some of that onion and garlic flavor. And I'm going to cover that for a little bit. And pretty much y'all, dinner is ready. The rice cooker is almost finished. Probably like another three minutes or so, not even. So this is what we're looking at. So then I'm gonna plate them so you can see how it goes down at the Jewels to Life. My humble abode. Happy New Year's, you guys, if I didn't say it, but I said it, I think, in my previous video. Happy New Year's and hope and pray we all have a prosperous new year. And just blessings, 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 you know, blessings. Share my channel. That's my rice cooker. Share, share, let's share, let's spread the love, y'all. Okay, guys, here you have green beans, green beans, shrimp, 
black beans, yellow rice. And over here, we have the minced meat with the bell peppers, black beans, green beans, and yellow rice. And those are my daughter's dinner. Now it's time for me to make mine and my uh, plate mine and my Okay, so this is mine. I'm probably only going to eat half of this. I just wanted to taste everything. But that's mine, and I'll show you what I consume. So, this is it for me. I'm done. <laughs> Go ahead, sing your song. What happened? Oh, it's all look cute. Come on, make she look cute. <laughs> Don't get too close. My acne. <laughs> Look at Jenny trying to eat. It's, it's just today. slow and like. Straight up. <laughs> Go ahead, Kiki, your turn. Stop. Let's show them how you do with that spoon after she put the fork down so she could shove it with a spoon. So, guys, you can see what time it is. Just got finished with my shower, eating, ate dinner. Well, ate dinner, took my shower, now I'm in bed. It's nine o'clock, I'm not ready to sleep yet. Found a good movie that I'm about to watch. It's called Unknown on Netflix. It looks pretty good, let's see who's in it. Started watching it, um, so I'm like about five minutes in. Um, so this is where I'm gonna say good night. Thanks for tuning in on just something that I'm, not something, just, kind of how my days go um, in between there there was work um, didn't have any practice for my son today everything is slowed down actually the season ended so we're about to start back supposed to be starting again but I don't know how it is with COVID but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of what I do in a day and um, I didn't vlog everything trust me because I wasn't planning on doing it but I figured let me just get something for you guys because I surely miss you guys. You know, during this quarantine, I don't do much. But yes, I do. I do do a lot still. Still don't have enough hours in the day to do everything that I want to do. But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And tune in because I am planning on uploading more videos. So, And don't forget to hit that notification um, bell. So you'll know when I drop a new video and please comment, comment, please just tell me, Hey, and don't forget to give me that thumbs up too. All right, guys. Enjoy. Have a blessed night. See ya.